Welcome to Electron Line. The next problem that we're going to try and solve is another catenary problem where the conditions are such that they want us to find the solution to the span being twice the sag. So the span is this distance between the attached points, the sag is this distance, they want this distance to be twice this distance. Since the span is equal to twice x, and that has to equal twice h, that means that x must equal h. And ultimately, they want us to find the angle between the horizontal and the attached point, the cable, this angle right here, theta. Now, looking ahead, we know that theta can be found by taking the arc cosine, or I should say the inverse cosine, of the ratio of the tension at the low point on the cable divided by the tension at the attached point. You can see here is the triangle of forces. We have the weight of the cable. We have the tension at the low point. We have the tension at the attached point. We're trying to find this angle theta right here, which means we need to find these two values. And coming up here, we can see that the tension at the low point is the weight per unit length times C, and the tension at the high point, the attached point, is the weight per unit length times Y, which means we need to know C and Y. When we take the ratio, the weight per unit length cancels out. We don't need to know that. So the following things we need to do is given that X equals H, we're going to plug in some values for H, some trial values. We calculate the appropriate C, we calculate y, and then we calculate x. Remember that these two values must be the same. We're also given that s is 5 meters, so that the total length of the cable between the attach points would be 10 meters. So let's start with a value for h. Let's make it equal to 4 meters. So we'll start with h being 4 meters, and we know that s is 5 meters. So that gives us uh, 25 minus 16 divided by 2h, divided by 8, and so that becomes 1.125. In that case, y would be h plus c, the two added together, which is 5.125, and then x will be equal to, well, we have y divided by c, that's 5.125 divided by 1.125, take the inverse hyperbolic cosine, so hyperbolic inverse cosine, times c, times 1.125 equals. Wow, it's quite a calculation. We get 2.472. All right, we started with h equals 4. It's definitely not equal to x equals 2.472. So let's try a smaller value for h and see what we get. We'll make this a 3 meters. If this is 3, then we get 25 minus 9 divided by 6. It gives us a C of 2.667. Add H to that, that would be 5.667. So plus 3. Divide that by C, so divide by 2.66666. There we go. And take the inverse hyperbolic cosine and multiply times C equals, now we get 3.6968. So we have H equals 3, X equals 3.7 almost. So here we had X being smaller, now here we have X being bigger. So let's try the halfway point. Let's try 3.5. Okay. H is 3.5. We get 25. 214 Minus. equals. Now we get 3.1594. Okay. Here this was bigger. Now we're smaller. Hmm. So I need to get closer to 3. Well, let's try 3.4. Okay, 25 minus 3.4 squared. Let's hope we're getting close now. 3.2775. Okay, let's see here. Here we were smaller. Here we were, well, we're still smaller. Well, we're getting closer, but hang in there. We're getting close. 3.3. 
All right. S squared, so that would be 3.3899. Let's see here, 3.3, 3.38. Now it's larger. So this was smaller. This is larger than that. So it's somewhere up there. Uh, let's see here, not quite halfway point. How about 3.34? Now we should be really close. Let's find out. Equals. Okay. And let's hope we're close. 3.346. Well, let's see here, 3.34, 3.346, close enough, which means we have H, we have C, we have Y, and we have X, and we have S, meaning we have all five values in such a way that H equals X, which means the span will be twice the sag of the cable. Now we're ready to find the angle. So to find the angle, we must find this ratio. So we have theta is equal to the inverse cosine of T sub naught, which would be the weight per unit length times C divided by T, which is the weight per unit length times Y. Of course, that cancels out, which is equal to the arc cosine of C, which we know is 2.0725 divided by y, which is 5.4125, and let's see what we get. So we have 2.0725 divided by 5.4125, take the inverse cosine, and we get the angle being equal to 67.5 degrees. And that is how we do that. So again, it's an iterative process. We were simply given that x equals h, so we have to go back and forth until we find a value where x is close to h, and then we can calculate the angle from that. That's how it's done.